Judges chapter 16 Now Samson went to Gaza, and there he saw a loose woman and went in to her. And it was said to the Gagites, Samson is here. So they went around, watching for him all day at the doorway of the town. But at night they kept quiet, saying, When thou Daylight comes, we will put him to death. And Samson was there till the middle of the night. Then he got up and took a grip on the doors of the town, pulling them up together with their two supports and their locks, and put them on his back, and took them up to the top of the hill in front of Hebron. Now, after this, he was in love with a woman in the valley of Sorek named Delilah. And the chiefs of the Palestine came up to her and said to her, Make use of your power over him and see what is the secret of his great strength and how we may get the better of him and put bands on him. Him, so that we may make him feeble, and every one of us will give you eleven hundred shekels of silver. So Delilah said to Samson, Make it clear to me now what is the secret of your great strength, and how you may be put in bands and made feeble. And Samson said to her, If seven new bow cords, which have never been made dry, are knotted around me, I will become feeble and will be like any other man. So the chiefs of the Palestine gave her seven new bow cords, which had never been made dry, and she had them tightly knotted around him. Now he, she had men waiting secretly in the inner room, and she said to him, The Palestines are on you, Samson, and the cords were broken by him as a twist of thread is broken when touched by a flame. So the secret of his strength did not come to light. Then Delilah said to Samson, See, you have been making sport of me with the false words now. Say truly, how may you be put in bed? And he said to her, if they only put around me new thick coats, which have never been used, then I will become feeble and will be like any other man. So Delilah took new thick coats, knotting them tightly around him, and said to him, The Palestines are on you, Samson, and men were watching secretly in the inner room, and the coats were broken off his arms like threads. Then Delilah said to Samson, Up to now you have made sport of me with the false words. Now say truly, how may you be put in bed? And he said to her, If you get the seven twists of my hair worked into the cloth you are making and fixed with the pin, I will become feeble and will be like any other man. So while he was sleeping, she got the seven twists of his hair worked into her cloth and fixed with a pin, and said to him, The Palestines are on you, Samson. Then awaking him from his sleep, he got up quickly, pulling up cloth and motion together. And she said to him, why do you say you are my lover when your heart is not mine? 
three times you have made sport of me and have not made clear to me the secret of your great strength. So, day after day, she gave him no peace, forever questioning him till his soul was troubled to death. And opening all his heart to her, he said to her, My head has never been touched by a blade, for I have been separate to God from the day of my birth. If my hair is cut off, then my strength will go from me and I will become feeble, and you will be like any other man. And when Delilah saw that he had let her see into his heart, she sent words to the chiefs of the Palestine, saying, Come up this time, for he, he has let out all his heart to me. Then the chiefs of the Palestine came to her with the money in, her, in their hands. And she made him go to sleep on her knees, and she sent for a man and had his seven twists of hair cut off. While it was being done, he became feeble and his strength went from him. Then she said, The Palestines are all new Samson, and awake from his sleep. He said, I go out as at other times, shaking myself free. But he was not conscious that the Lord had gone from him. So the Palestines took him and put out his eyes. Then they took him down to Gaza, and chaining him with bands of brass, put him to work, crushing a grain in the prison house. But the growth of his hair was starting again after it had been cut off. And the chiefs of the Palestine came together to make a great offering to Dagon their God and to be glad. For they said, Our God has given into our hands Samson our hater. And when the people saw him, they gave praise to their God, for they said, Our God has given into our hands the one who was fighting against us, who made our country waste, and who put great numbers of us to death. Now, when their hearts were full of joy, they said, Send for Samson, Samson to make sport for us. And they sent for Samson out of the prison house, and he made sport before them, and they put him between the pillars. And Samson said to the boy who took him by the hand, Let me put my hand on the pillar supporting the house so that I may put my back against them. Now the house was full of men and women, and all the lords of the Palestine were there, and about three thousand men and women were on the roof, looking on while Sam's made sport. And Sam's crying out to the Lord, said, O Lord God, do have me now in mind, and do make me strong only this once, O God, so that I may take on a last payment from the Palestine for my two eyes. Then Samson put his arms round the two middle pillars supporting the house, putting his weight on them, and on one with his right and on the other with his left. And Samson said, Let that overtake me with the Palestine. And he put out all his strength, and the house came down on the chiefs and on 
all the people who were in it. So the dead whom he sent to destruction by his death were more than all those on whom he had sent destruction in his life. Then his brothers and his father's people came down and took him up and put his body to rest in the earth between Jura and at Tau in the resting place of Manoah his father, and he had been judge of Israel for twenty years.